First up is this motor, the Mystery. Um, I will be measuring them in from that way and up to that way. It will be short, short videos, and then I present all the results down below. So just look at down below. There will also be a link to a Google spreadsheet where I actually collect every data. And what I will be collecting is I will be measuring how many amps is needed for delivering roughly, uh, I would say, 150 gram of thrust and also maximum amps.
but not least is the weight of the different motors. First of all, we start with the Lumineer one. 27 gram. Second one is the Mystery motor. This one is heavy, it's 45 gram. Next one we take is the Emacs, a small one, 1806. Very now, so. 19 gram so the RCX 23 gram the big Emax engine 28 gram and finally the RC timer motor 25 gram so let's just quickly go through the numbers if we're talking about the weight I would gladly choose the Emax, the small one, this one. It's actually performing really great when it comes to the weight because it is really, really lightweight. Uh, if we're talking about just normal hovering with roughly 150 grams of thrust, I would say either go with this one, the mystery one. I was surprised. The mystery with 5045 actually worked really, really well and had roughly 1.65 amps. Um, other than that, this one is a little bit low RPM, uh, but it actually works pretty good. So, um, the second one that actually did perform well as well is actually the Emacs, the big one, with 6030 uh, props. That one did perform 1.7 amps. Other than that, the Emacs actually had very, very poor performance at all. If you're going for that, I actually recommend to go with the smaller Emacs directly because that one performs a lot better with 5 inch props. If you're going to only have the best performance, the best thrust at all, the Lumineer is the winner. The Lumineer actually managed to perform 683 grams of thrust with the 6045 props. Um, and if we are talking about the best prop for the 50 series, the 5 inch props, that goes to Lumineer as well. So, if you're going for a cheap motor, I would pick that one, the cheap Emax engine. If you have some more money to spend in this case, I would go with the Lumineer one because that one actually performs really, really good. Regarding to the props, they are not optimal. This, as you can see, is a little bit different shapes. Um, this one had a lot of unbalance. It was a little bit flimsy, so it caused a lot of unbalanced and vibrations. Other than that, the 5040 I have is actually really good, and the 5045 did not perform that well. So, this is the first one I did. Um, if you go and check below, you will see that I have a link to uh, an Excel sheet or a Google spreadsheet instead with all the numbers and the weights and everything and hopefully this list will grow but for now this is the motors I use on my mini quads and in the future I will most likely test more of them so please subscribe, like, let me know your thoughts and um, thank you for today, bye